people welcome back to the Canada info Up channel my name is Wolok and I live in Winnipeg Manitoba Canada I love to talk about everything Canada including immigrating to Canada so if this is your first time I will request for you to subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell and give me a thumbs up yes I usually tell my returning subscribers to destroy the like button but don't destroy your phone don't destroy your monitor don't destroy your TV just give it a thumbs up I need the thumbs up give it a thumbs up <laughs> how are you doing I have been so stressed <laughs> last week was so stressful for me I had to like shut down I was almost crying I'm like oh this is not me this is not me but then I have no choice I had to like tell myself I need to prioritize a lot of things and uh, shut down so that I can rest so that I can have the time to do more research and provide more content and more information for people that will find it useful and this year um, has been wonderful i don't want to i don't want to say anything negative but this year has been so funny and guess what today is the last day of the month of november and we are entering december so december 2020 is just around the corner just a few hours away and thankfully we should be grateful that we are still alive although some people lost their lives this year um it's been it's been a challenging year for all of us but somehow we are still alive and we have to be grateful for that so if you are still alive you've not lost anything you've not lost your job you've not lost any member of your family just be grateful even if you've not achieved your canadian immigration dream i just i mean it's for you being alive and breathing is something to be grateful for it means that there is still hope for tomorrow so for you to achieve that which you want to achieve so i let me not spend the time encouraging you but i want you to be encouraged anyway uh today's video is specifically for people who want to come to canada as students yes for students it's very important it's not just searching for the schools it's not just looking for schools that are cheap the most of the emails i actually receive are people who are asking me which schools are the cheapest schools in Canada and I sometimes I just shake my head why would you be looking for a cheap school there are no cheap schools in Canada for international students somebody even sent me an email if there was a free school in Canada and I was just laughing if there were free schools in Canada I would have even gone to school to go and do PhD anyway that's by the way so first thing first there are no cheap schools for international students in Canada international students pay almost double or triple the tuition fees in canada and that's the same thing anywhere in the world so the reason why i am actually making this video is the most important thing every international student should know before you decide to apply for admission into any school in any province in canada and that is the province that will be the easiest province for you to get a provincial nomination especially if you are above a certain age i've actually done this video before but i'm doing an update to this video because something new came up and i needed to share this information so that you are aware of it now it is very important to determine the province first once you determine the province first, then you can now start looking at the programs. In a situation where you can't find the program you intend to study in that province, that's when you now look for other best suitable option. New Brunswick is now the best province for international students. And the reason is because you can actually become a permanent resident while you are still a student in Canada. And that will save you the cost of international tuition fees. So if you're looking for a school, I would say you should focus your school search in the province of New Brunswick. They have a pathway for international students. I'll be showing you on the screen. I've actually um, mentioned it in the Instagram page, but I decided to share this here on the YouTube channel so that it everybody would know that New Brunswick is the only province in canada where students international students can become permanent residents as long as they have the necessary work experience in the necessary knock codes and 
they have created an express entry profile because the notification of interest will be given to you in your express entry profile if you are an international student it is better for you to target new brunswick um search for programs in new brunswick that you know that you can get admission in and then apply for your study permit and while your mates are in ontario and maybe bc and saskatchewan and manitoba still studying you will be eligible for a provincial nomination you could even get your permanent resident status before you even complete your studies in new brunswick so it is very important to you know focus your search um for schools in the province of new brunswick in addition to that um the other provinces where you can get provincial nominations from without a job offer after graduation uh british columbia in some courses not all programs so as long as you do a master's program and a phd program in bc you don't need a job offer to apply for a provincial nomination the next one is manitoba uh, for Manitoba, the requirement is for you to must have completed an internship. I talked about it in the last video. You must have completed an internship in one of two programs for you to be eligible to apply for a provincial nomination without a job offer. The third province is Ontario, and that is specifically for PhD um, students. So if you complete a PhD in Ontario, You'll be eligible for a provincial nomination without the requirement of a job offer to apply for a provincial nomination so these are the three provinces the other provinces saskatchewan alberta um some other provinces like that you have to finish first and then work for six months first although saskatchewan has the option of you claiming work experience while studying so if you must have had maybe six months work experience um, while studying and you also have a full-time job offer then you're eligible to apply for a provincial nomination that's for saskatchewan but these other provinces they don't have the requirement of a job offer for you to apply for a provincial nomination out of all of them new brunswick is the best province where you can get your permanent resident status while a student in new brunswick so this is the information i want to share and it is very important for people who are planning to come study in Canada. Like I said, before you go and start looking for a school in Ontario or wherever, the first thing you should ask yourself is, after studies, how am I going to become a permanent resident? That should be your first question and that should be what should guide you to choose a province, choose a school, choose a program. And once you get your study permit, you know that um the next thing you should be thinking of is how to become a permanent resident so i hope i have not talked too much <laughs> and one more thing have you subscribed to this channel have you given me the thumbs up have you shared the video with your friends and family members um yeah please do that don't forget to do that and i also talked about coming on live every saturday i'll be inviting people to come discuss with me on youtube live but this particular Saturday, I'll be answering your questions. Then, as from upper Saturdays, I'll be talking about lots of things. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Um, there's what they call Vlogmas. Every day, you have to upload a video. I don't think I have the strength for that this year. I did that last year. But I don't know whether I have the strength for that this year. Maybe I might just come up one day and just create a video or something. I don't know. It might be live. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to wish you a beautiful week and thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video or see you live on Saturday. Thank you so much and have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.